viewers uh, today we will see uh, the classic novel by ernest hemingway uh, the old man and the sea uh, uh, hemingway lived uh, between 1899 and 1961 as we all know uh, he was an essayist short story writer a poet and a great novelist in the year 1954 he won the nobel prize for literature he was uh, born in illinois and uh, he started his career as a journalist uh, he also worked as a volunteer uh, of an ambulance unit uh, during world war 1 and 2 and he was closely associated with writers like uh, Gertrude Stein and F Scott Fitzgerald uh, his first great success came with his novel uh, with his work the sun also rises in the year 1926 but he started writing uh, in 1920 uh, a movable feast a memoir Uh, about uh, her stay in Paris. In the year 1927, he wrote Men Without Women. 29, A Farewell to Arms, a very famous novel. Uh, his exp- the scene is the Italian front in World War I. And in the year 1930, uh, he has written uh, with the death of uh, death in the afternoon about the spain bull fighting uh, he was uh, really interested in bull fighting and this is a non fiction in the year 1933 uh, he has written uh, winner take nothing winner take nothing 1935 the green hill of africa Uh, this is the uh, story of a hunting safari and in the year 1937 a uh, very famous book to have and have not uh, this was made into a film by uh, howard uh, hawks uh, his uh, famous uh, uh, short story is the snows of kilimanjaro and in the year 1940 he wrote his Uh, next a famous uh, fiction for whom the bell tolls in 1950 uh, he wrote the river uh, into the trees uh, with the theme of death 1952 came our novel that is the novel that we are going to see here the old man and the sea with 27000 words it's like it's the story the old man and the sea is a story of a cuban fisher fisherman santiago uh, santiago was modeled uh, model is a model was uh, uh, gregario fientes uh, who died in the year 2002 and that too at the age of 104 and this man uh, served as captain of hemingway's uh, boat in 1930s he was the model for uh, the old man santiago hemingway spent much of his time in cuba until fidel castro uh, castro's uh, 1959 uh, revolution true at uh, first light it is a full length book uh, of course uh, published posthumously after his death 1961 Uh, he killed himself uh, shooting himself by the very famous uh, shotgun a favorite uh, shotgun uh, and uh, he was dead uh, this novella uh, the old man and the sea is uh, about as i uh, said uh, santiago who has lost his luck uh, it's believed by everybody that he has lost his luck for the past 84 days he has not caught any uh, fish and uh, uh, but uh, this santiago stands for he remains hopeful and undefeated uh, he takes a skiff 
uh, and rose uh, to the sea and uh, he has got a very uh, a very good accompaniment that is uh, a boy manul and uh, who is always uh, with him uh, actually he has served for 5 years with uh, this man uh, santiago in the sea he has learned the nuances of fishing so this boy refuses to leave him but his parents forced him to leave santiago because he he is a uh, is not lucky and he has not caught any fish for the past 84 days um forced by parents he had to join another uh, man but the boy is so loving and affectionate uh, he he is after santiago considers him as a great uh, guru and he is like a disciple uh, early morning he goes with him up and uh, um and does all the work like uh, getting tea for him getting uh, uh, tiny fishes to eat in the uh, boat and also taking his harpoon gaff and uh, the sail get, getting everything ready for the sail so he is a he is a furling he is getting ready the sail furl the around the uh, mast so this boy is quite uh, uh, happy with him Uh, from the start to finish he is with him of course in between we see santiago struggle yes and uh, the main theme of the novel uh, very beautiful uh, thing in between uh, during his suffering uh, santiago says uh, uh, can be defeated man can be defeated but not destroyed i'll quote exactly when the place comes and uh, here when the story starts we see this uh, santiago um, that is uh, when everybody says that uh, he has only bad luck he wants to prove what a man can do and what uh, a man endures that is the main thing about uh, santiago very strong personality though a very thin um, Uh, physical features uh, physic uh, he is a very strong personality he wants to prove what a man can do and what a man endures and when uh, hemingway describes him he says he is a thin gaunt uh, deep wrinkles in the back and the neck and also in his brow blotches in the skin uh, cheeks hair and uh, hands and uh, the deep scars uh, he has got so much of scars because of holding the net all the time the line of course uh, and handling of the fish on the cords so he has got scars all over his hands and uh, uh, the palms and uh, yeah nothing about him is fresh he is not fresh he is an old man the title itself says the old old man uh, old uh, uh everything is old about him his eyes also his his eyes everything is old about him but uh, the color of the eye like uh, barvi says oli uh, badaitha kanninai va 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 like that the color of the eyes uh, very cheerful and undefeated nobody can defeat me i will not be defeated that is what uh, his eyes uh, say and uh, Uh, he gets ready this morning that is after the 84th day uh, he comes to the terrace uh, and uh, uh, two important things about uh, this santiago is his love for baseball his love for uh, baseball and the uh, hero di maggio uh, he has got a very high regard uh, for di maggio and another thing is he always dreams of lions in the beach of africa in the african beach so these two things the last line of the novel ends with his dream about the lions in the african uh, beach so here this um, uh, he 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 is getting ready and this boy as usual uh, uh, the evening he comes and says tomorrow uh, i'll come and you come and wake me up and uh, we will go to the sea and uh, early morning uh, this santiago 
uh, that is 84th day when he comes this boy gets tea for him uh, takes newspapers uh, newspapers to read and old papers to spread out on his uh, cot uh, give, give him everything comfortable makes everything comfortable for him to lie down and sleep and tells early morning you come and wake me up and early morning this santiago goes to his house goes to his room and wakes him up and he comes to santiago's shack and then uh, he he starts doing everything very lovely to see this boy uh, taking such a care uh, of this old man he has got a very high esteem is uh, we cannot uh, measure it is a uh, immeasurable uh, esteem for the master he says every now and then he says uh, when he is with uh, santiago i have learned a lot from you and still i want to learn and uh, santiago says no you cannot come with me i am an unlucky man and here he says i am not bothered i can learn a lot that is what i need for fishing and uh, moreover his parents they don't want this boy to go with the with santiago so um, uh, when everybody is against santiago faces adversity with great dignity and grace that is the greatest point about him uh, with great dignity and uh, grace uh, he faces adversity uh, he has got great uh, self control uh, inner nobility uh, he is uh, significant and not what one achieves or fails he is not uh, worried about what you are going to achieve or what you are going to lose i have to do my duty i am born a fisherman this is my work so he is not worried about the achievement or failure but doing the work is more important that is what is uh, makes him a very great personality and here he says a man is not made for defeat a man can be destroyed but not defeated beautiful words of ernest hemingway quotable quote man is not made for defeat a man can be destroyed but not defeated so in his ethic in this uh, uh, in hemingway's ethical universe santiago shows not only uh, how to live life uh, heroically but also with uh, in a uh, uh, in a befitting manner as a man Uh, that is what uh, hemingway shows us and uh, uh, he uh, through santiago uh, he represents uh, the triumph of uh, uh, indefatigable uh, uh, spirit uh, is uh, nothing can stop uh, uh, from him stop him from doing his work that is the great thing about uh, this uh, santiago uh, he uh, t- the boy carries uh, uh, everything to him uh, to the boat and uh, finally he says uh, uh, santiago is uh, gone he says i have got good eyes he can see things very clearly though very old this is a very strange thing and here he says i am strong enough to catch a big fish uh, even now uh, he says and the boy says yes sir yes, i am i am sure about it Uh, i am i am confident about your strength and uh, he says you know the tricks to catch that is the thing the boy says it is not flattery uh, he says i i know that you know the tricks to catch the uh, fish and he gives various tips like uh, september uh, is the month of great uh, fish anyone can be a fisherman in may very easily you will get a lot uh, big fish means a uh, great fish means in september like that he gives tips to this boy and here he says you will not fish without eating while i am alive he tells this boy you will not fish without eating uh, while i am alive i will be always there to help you and uh, uh, he takes uh, in the in the uh, tin uh, metal container he keeps the food for uh, takes from the terrace uh, uh, where they provide food or tea for fisherman he takes uh, food for him dinner for him uh, martin is the owner of the uh, terrace uh, he takes the belly meat uh, because uh, uh, he cannot eat other things being old uh, this will be better for him takes that and takes 
and they sit and talk about the american league yankees uh, de maggio uh, nothing uh, according to him he says that he hits the longest ball he has great admiration for de maggio uh, he says nothing i i like nothing ever like uh, my love for de maggio uh, the baseball player and uh, he's also he also belongs to fisherman family and he says he uh, de maggio used to come to the terrace often and uh, uh, this santiago has got a wish um, or a liking to take de maggio for fishing yes, he, he wants de maggio to come with him for fishing so here he says uh, uh, the next thing as i told earlier uh, de mag uh, santiago says i have seen uh, lions on the beaches uh, running to africa african beaches and uh, uh, yeah, this is how they talk about the managers and the meat uh, baseball meat and uh, uh, this uh, manolan says uh, you make me happy uh, uh, may not be very strong but uh, no many tricks and resolution that is your greatness you are my alarm clock <laughs> this boy always sleeps at his home and uh, calls uh, santiago has to go and uh, wake him up so here he says you are my alarm clock and uh, this old man says santiago says age is my alarm clock for santiago age is the alarm clock so uh, no dreams of uh, 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 santiago has no dreams of storms women or uh, great uh, occurrences a uh, great fish nor fights nor uh, contests of strength nor even his wife but he always has dreams about places and lions on the beach uh, uh, now he uh, gets into the skiff uh it, he rose steadily with no effort uh, uh other other men other fishermen get ready with their fish they don't even care to have a look at him but he is not bothered he is doing his duty uh, he starts uh, rowing steadily uh, with no effort at all well within his speed uh, capable of him and the ocean was very flat without a uh, wind uh, he has got four uh, baits uh, lines uh, he just sends it in one at 40 fathoms uh, second at 75 third at 100 fathoms and the fourth one at 125 fathoms every day is a new day he says uh, we go with expectations to get a fish so every day is a new day it is better to be uh, lucky he is uh, talking to being alone nobody is there nobody is willing to come with him being alone he talks to himself uh, the boy leaves uh, 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 to his boat and he is all alone he, he starts talking from this time onwards it's better to be lucky he is uh, wishing to be lucky but i would rather be exact at the same time i, I will not depend only on luck but i want to be exact in whatever i do only then he says that uh, luck uh, comes when we are ready so early sun uh, hurts his eyes uh, he says uh, evening at least uh, it's all right morning i feel very difficult to uh, go in the sea uh, and uh, uh, he sees uh, many birds uh, flying first he sees man of war uh, bird it uh, then he sees a uh, flying fish dolphin a big school of dolphin uh, too big for the bird and then he says uh, sees a uh, agnamala that is a uh, jellyfish and a tiny fish every now and then uh, flying fish turtle egg uh, shark liver oil uh, tuna albacore uh, albacore of course he uses as a bait uh, weighing 10 pounds uh, Uh, he says it will uh, weigh 10 pounds and per for is uh, male and female he can feel uh, hitting at his skiff uh, per for per poise is uh, that is a ship uh, he started first he thinks and then he starts talking loudly to himself 
when he was himself probably when the boy had left this has become his usual habit to talk to himself loudly uh, it was uh, considered to be uh, uh, considered to be a virtue uh, not to speak uh, when and see but uh, uh, he has no radio or uh, baseball or newspaper to read uh, so it is uh, uh, he has to think or he has to talk to himself so now he says now it is time to think of only one thing that is uh, about catching the fish and he sees the snow capped mountains blue hills um, he holds his, the line uh, between his thumb and the uh, four finger um, um, he he just uh, uh, it is sad he sees a sad uh, fish uh, uh, comes up and down a tiny fish is yes? uh, he checked the lines every now and then uh, uh, suddenly he feels a great pull a great weight uh, uh, he uh, he understood uh, the weight by the weight he watched its slant uh, movement um, and here uh, he understood that a great fish is caught in the line and uh, here he says uh, there are plenty of things that i can do yes and uh, 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 he is asking he, is, he starts talking to the fish are you big enough to serve at the table like that uh, he is, doesn't know the uh, size of the a uh, fish and then at noon uh, he hooked it and four hours late uh, the fish started moving uh, steadily out to sea towing the skiff but the old man uh, he braced solidly with the line across his back across his back uh, in between he drank a little little water from the bottle that he had and uh, uh, for the pain at the back uh, he rested his back against the bow uh, he rested sitting on the uh, unstepped uh, uh, mast and uh, sail and tried not to think but only to endure uh, he thinks uh, a great fish is caught i should not go on thinking i have to endure because he has to hold the line carefully Uh, and the fish is moving at all the time with great force very strength with great strength and it is a very big fish also so two more four hours uh, spent and now two more hours before the sun sets no land was visible also uh, he wished he could see him uh, he couldn't see the fish now so here he wished to see the fish uh, once to know what he had against him who is his enemy with whom he is fighting so he wanted to see that and here he says even if i see i can do nothing and he also can do nothing with me so both of us are helpless both of us can't do anything and i wish i had the boy to help me this is what he repeatedly thinks and says loudly also i wish i have the boy with me to help me and to see this that is very important and no one should be alone this is what he says uh, he has nobody to help him uh, except this uh, little boy and here he says no one should be alone in old age uh, in their old age uh, he seeks uh, uh, he tries to see the movement uh, and see it see he can feel uh, the movement of the fish he wonders uh, how much uh, uh, will be the weight of the a fish or the uh, how much it will be the size of the fish uh, there is none to help him uh, none to help uh, either uh, santiago or the fish um, but uh, he thinks perhaps i should not have been a fisherman he th- next thought is uh, i should not have born as a fisherman but that was the thing that i was born for <laughs> he himself gives the answer but anyhow i have born as a beaver a uh, fisherman i can't do anything about it uh, uh, he has but he is very happy that he has got a big reserve of line and uh, he tells the fish i'll stay with you till i am dead Uh, and here he wishes to turn uh, with the current that would show that he was tiring the fish is uh, 
moving turning the current and uh, he uh, santiago says i love you and respect you but i will kill you uh, he tells the fish i love you uh, name of the fish is marlin uh, he says uh, marlin i love you and respect you but i will definitely kill you so steadily the bow the skiff is moving it's and the ship the fish is also marlin is also moving very steadily uh various birds hawks all fly uh, uh looking at the birds and the hawks uh, uh, the look itself encouraged him to talk uh, he says uh, he tells the fish you take a good rest uh, and his back is very stiffened and uh, uh, he says that uh, he gave some uh, some line uh, to the fish to loosening the line and uh, cut him by one quick pull uh, the whenever the fish takes a pull uh, quick pull uh, it hurts his fingers and uh, his hand uh, uh, cut in the face uh, uh, he has slowed much after some time the fish has become tired it has slowed much and he he keeps his hand in the salt water um, uh, longer uh, and here the hand is very dried he keeps it in the sea water and uh, he looks uh, uh, tuna i feel the steady hard pull of the line uh, stain showed him the encircling of the fish Uh, it is moving this way and, uh, in a round so he is able to see the stain uh, and he says i am tireder than ever very very tired and uh, in addition to this trade wind is also rising uh, uh, fair weather of course uh, fair weather with the breeze uh, and here he says a man is never lost in the sea this is another quotable quote of hemingway a man is never lost in the at the sea and it is a long island so to the fisherman who is closely acquainted with the sea the sea is like a long island so here he says i saw the fish first he could not believe the uh, he, he sees the fish first time for the first time when it comes to the surface and then he says uh, i couldn't believe its length huge bulky and the tail itself it has got purple stripes and he is quite surprised to see such a big fish and uh, uh, he is waiting for a chance uh, to get the harpoon and uh, must get him close uh close close he thought he must come closer to me and uh, he decides i must not hit him at the head i must get the heart yes i must get the heart gaining some line um cut him uh, alongside uh, cut get him alongside uh, uh, this uh, pride made him move uh, and finally he, say, he decides uh, if even if there is death i will accept to die anyway uh, uh, he is asking uh, the fish anyhow you are going to die do you want me also to die uh, do you have to kill me too uh, i am not good for many more uh, tunas but you are forever uh, uh, he says i have never seen a greater a more beautiful or a calmer or more noble thing than you my dear brother he has he has become close close affinity with the gained a close affinity with the fish and calls him a brother and here he says come on and kill me he calls the uh, marlin i do not care who kills who yes he is a, he is a, a positive approach the mental stamina uh, is not afraid scared of death yes uh, this is what a conversation going on uh, the, of course uh, uh, um, uh, monologue uh, took all his pain what was uh, left of his strength is uh, the fish took all his pain it was uh, moving moving and circling um, and his long gone pride uh, put it against the fish's agony uh, here what happened fish came over at last it came over to his side uh, he started to pass with the boat 
long, deep, wide, silver, and barred with purple and interminable in the water. It came alive, rose high out of the water, showing all its length and width and all his power and his beauty. A marlin came out. So the sea is uh, uh, discoloring. He gives a hit to the heart and uh, see, uh, he can see the discoloring of the sea, the red color of the blood from uh, marlin's heart. Uh, I have killed this fish. Uh, which is my uh, uh, brother and now I must do the slave work. He has to uh, protect it. Uh, a great difficulty, he has killed it and now he has to do the do a hard work to protect it. Uh, so here he says uh, he has to tie it to the uh, skiff. So he started preparing the noose and the rope to lash him alongside. Uh, this skiff would never hold him. This skiff is small. Uh, the ma marlin is bigger than that. So here he says, uh, would never hold him. Uh, and uh, he feels very happy to see such a very big marlin. And he says, I want to uh, see, touch and feel him. And after seeing it, he says, I couldn't believe its size. And uh, he starts guessing uh, what may be its size or how much uh, uh, it, its weight may be. He says, 1500 pounds the way he is, it looks like so. Maybe much more also, hands and the, uh, but his hands and back hurts, hurt very much and he says, uh, uh, no bone uh, spur. Maybe we have them without uh, killing off it. And then uh, uh, he sailed towards the southwest. He couldn't see any harbor. Uh, he couldn't see the land beach, uh, but uh, uh, he understood being a, a, a skilled uh, fisherman, uh, he, he knows that uh, he, the ship is sailing towards southwest and uh, uh, he needs no compass. A great uh, man, skilled person, he needs no compass. Uh, the feel of the trade when uh, drawing uh, the sail. Yes, uh, caught uh, small. He uh, he caught uh, small shrimps and uh, uh, chew up the uh, shells and the tails. Uh, drinks a little water, as I said earlier, from the water bottle. And uh, uh, every now and then he wonders whether it's a dream or a real thing. Such a big fish. Uh, uh, because uh, 84 days he didn't get anything and everybody started believing that he is very unlucky and he also but uh, uh, he want he believes in his uh, strength in his uh, he, he, he in his endurance and uh, here he says uh, uh, he is asking everyone, everyone, is this a dream? No, I have pains in my palm, in my hand, uh, bruises. So everything uh, says that it's not a dream, it's a real thing. Uh, so this has truly happened and was not a dream. He tells himself and uh, no uh, bone spurs uh, went astern while lowing this uh, fish. Uh, uh, he is uh, it is lash uh, la he is lashing it crash bit in the bow darted off so with all that it starts uh, uh, it, it it is it is uh, dying and uh, um, with for all his pains he gives a good cure for the modern world he says salt water uh, would heal the uh, bleeding hand and there he says, uh, uh, only thing I must keep my head clear. This repeatedly he says, keep the head clear. I should not become confused or worried or think about something or I should not be negative. And here he says, keep the head clear. And uh, 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 by the way, it, uh, the, the, the ship is, uh, the skiff is uh, uh, sailing slowly. He is asking, is he bringing me in or am I bringing him in? So it has become a big, big question. They are sailing together. That is the thing. And he uh, uh, lashed the fish uh, uh, side by side. And uh, uh, Santiago is um, uh, uh, sees that uh, uh, this uh, 
वेरी लॉन्ग मैको शार्क इज कमिंग इट इट कम्स द सेंटिंग द ब्लड स्मेल इट कम्स एंड बिल्ड टू स्विम एंड हियर ही गिव्स अ टिप अबाउट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस मैको शार्क ही सेज दैट इट इज बिल्ड टू स्विम एज फास्ट एज द फास्टेस्ट फिश इन द सी एंड एवरीथिंग अबाउट यूम वॉज ब्यूटिफुल एक्सेप्ट इज जॉस so here this uh, mako shark comes and uh, this was a fish built to feed on all the fishes in the sea that was so fast and strong and uh, well armed that they had no other enemy so this uh, old man uh, but this uh, santiago old man was full of resolution but he had little hope because it's such a big shark coming to attack him he says uh, this shark uh, is a bad luck for me and then he hits at the shark the dark water of the great of the true gulf is the greatest healer that there is and um, uh, this shark macro shark uh, uh, he calls it uh, dentuso d e n t u s o that uh, uh, it weighs nearly 40 pounds uh, he says uh, this shark it has uh, it has ate nearly 40 pounds of marlin and uh, there will be uh, others also uh, so this mako has ate uh, 40 pounds of the fish uh, flesh and other sharks may come uh, because the fish uh, bleeds and uh, uh, so of course he has killed the first uh, shark Uh, dream never uh, hooked uh, he dreams uh, uh, says i could have stayed alone in my room on my bed with newspapers uh, but uh, at this time he says man is not made for defeat a man can be destroyed but not defeated so he has lost uh, uh, in the fight with the shark he has lost his harpoon uh, it's an unbearable pain without harpoon how can i hit and face other enemies Uh, so sad but uh, something uh, sailor uh, positive he sees the positive side he sees uh, it has uh, taken 40 pounds so the sail is lighter for the loss of 40 pounds uh, i am still an old man but i am not unarmed though i may have lost my harpoon still i have my knife and other things so here he says i am still an old man but i am not unarmed and here uh, he also thinks it is silly to hope besides i believe it is a it is a sin he starts contemplating on sin and uh, here he says killing is a sin uh, here he says how can it be a sin i am born as a fisherman to kill and catch fish and here he says i am uh, killing is uh, as not a sin. killing a fish is not a sin anyhow i am doing it to keep myself alive and also to feed many people so it is not uh, uh, a sin and then he says only if people are paid to kill uh, somebody uh, let them think of sin if this is not sin he convinces himself and then uh, i am born as a fisherman uh, as the fish was born to be a fish i am born as a fisherman and uh, thinking much uh, he says uh, uh, he loved uh, the fish very much as a brother when he was alive and uh, loved him even after that and uh, he killed the shark he says uh, i i have killed the shark also but only for self defense i killed the shark so everything kills everything uh, else in some way or other and fishing kills Uh, kills uh, me alive is yes. uh, fishing kills me alive he has to fight fight to kill and ca- carry it back home and um, now uh, uh, next uh, round after 2 hours of sail uh, second sharks come galanos g a l a n o s galanos type of uh, fish uh, sharks come they have taken a quarter of him and the best of the marlin they have taken the quarter of it and best of uh, that and
again he feels the same way uh, a quarter part of uh, the fish uh, has gone uh, earlier 40 pounds and now a quarter part he says much lighter now and uh, but i did not want to think of the mutilated uh, underside of the fish i am not worried about it bothered about it and here he says marlon uh, you you keep a man all the uh, water he thought uh, uh, don't think that uh, uh, rest uh, must be given to my hands uh, a shape uh, to defend what is left of him. So what I have to do now is to uh, take care of what is left of this marlin. And uh, uh, when he thinks about, uh, uh, when he takes a resolution to protect what he has uh, got, the remains of this uh, marlin, uh, next shark comes and here he says it is like a pig. Mm, like a open mouth it comes and tries to hit at it and here he says uh, they have beaten men I am too old to club sharks to death but I'll try as long as I have woes and short club and uh, and the tiller so he's trying his level best and here, here uh, he also tells himself you are tired inside uh, he's very tired of course old man and every day is sailing and he tells every now and then I should not have come so far into the sea uh, and uh, two sharks galanos hurt him uh, hurt them very badly uh, he says I'm sorry that I went too far out I ruined us both both this marlin and myself by coming so far into the sea but uh, we have killed, but he's trying to look at the positive points, he says, we have killed many sharks. So here he says, if a shark attacks, chop the bill off. And uh, there was uh, uh, no hatchet now, and uh, or uh, there was no knife also. Uh, or, or, he has got this O. And uh, if it comes at night time, what can I do? I couldn't see. Uh, how can I fight against it? Uh, I, but uh, uh, he says, I will fight till uh, until I die. That is the greatness of Santiago. Uh, he says, uh, uh, I will fight. He says, I'll keep my prayers uh, uh, for home. Uh, I'll reach home and pray. But uh, he tells Hail Mary uh, with all stain, physical pain, uh, with the numbness and uh, with the palm bleeding, uh, with the lines, because of holding the line, uh, he, he, he sees a Hail Mary, um, and here he says, it's completely dark now, uh, no glow showing, and no lights, uh, only the wind and the steady pull of the sail, uh, he feels that he was already dead. And uh, uh, he says, uh, uh, I will take uh, half of the thing he thought uh, the tuna I can eat a little bit now uh, I may not have luck he says uh, but uh, I should not think that I will not be completely uh, unlucky luck may come in any form it has got many forms uh, uh, but uh, man has to recognize uh, her. that is very important so I should not uh, think that I am completely unlucky uh, I, I it may come in any form I, can, I have to wait and recognize her. So from his pain, he knew that he was not dead. Uh, he was uh, wondering whether I am alive or dead. And because it is painful, I, I feel the pain. He says that uh, from the pain, I knew that I am not dead. And uh, uh, he wonders it might be 10 o'clock at night and uh, uh, his fight became useless. Uh, after that, at night time, no light, no glow nothing so he couldn't uh, fight against the sharks moreover he came in a pack and uh, very desperately he clubbed at them uh, he felt something uh, seized the club and the club also gone he has nothing to hit at them and uh, there was nothing uh, more for them to eat also they have uh, eaten the whole lot of the marlin and uh, he knew that he is beaten. 
he starts but he uh, he starts thinking it sails very lightly now uh, no thought i need not worry sharks will come or eat or everything is lost so here says uh, i need not think about anything i need not feel about anything uh, uh, I, uh, he sees the lights on the beach and uh, he is closer to that and uh, uh he knew where he was now he leads uh, he la- he comes to the beach the wind is our friend he says it has uh, it has brought me to my place uh, to my beach uh, but there is no one to help him at that night time and uh, all alone he gets down he is not bothered about the fish nothing there except for the skeleton and the head and uh, he says it is only the white naked backbone and the dark mass of the head is that minds uh, then he reached the shack uh, it was blowing wind is blowing very hard and uh, uh, no one is going out uh, yeah, it is very uh, the whole place is empty nobody is going out and uh, this man goes to his uh, shack and uh, uh, it is a uh, Uh, 18 feet from nose to tail uh, early morning uh, fishermen uh, come there and see this big uh, thing 18 feet uh, from nose to tail and the head uh, uh, this boy uh, uh, he is uh, uh, every now and then he goes and sees an early morning he goes and sees uh, santiago very tiredly is just uh, lying down and this boy was uh, Uh, waiting uh, nearby for the man to wake up from his sleep uh, he thinks i can get coffee from him uh, from the terrace he runs and gets coffee but uh, still the man sleeps and uh, he feels that uh, he can wait he waits and then uh, uh, he heats it and uh, gives uh, when he wakes up he heats it and gives it to santiago and uh, santiago is very happy to see the boy and uh, he says uh, what can uh, he says uh, it is 18 feet mm, we are measuring uh, santiago is, uh, says oh it's like that uh, can you give it to Ped- uh, pedrico uh, he can use it for fish traps they cannot use it for eating he can use it for fish traps and uh, the spear is that if you want you take it and manolin says yes i will take it and uh, he says shall i bring you uh, food uh, now Uh, i'll get you some medicine from the drug store uh, because of uh, you know too many uh, scars and uh, blotches in the hand face and other things cheeks uh, he says uh, uh, okay i will uh, get it for you the boy goes there uh, to get everything for santiago and there he sees a, uh, a party of tourists near his boat skiff Uh, near the terrace uh, one lady uh, is asking what's that and uh, here he says uh, it's uh, a shark she didn't even know that it is a shark or whether it is marlin and this uh, uh, man says i don't know sharks have such handsome beautifully framed tails so this is uh, this people do not know the pain of this uh, the tourists do not know the pain of the man Uh, Santiago the endurance the resolution indefatigable uh, will of this great personality is yes? uh, the main message of the novel is man can be uh, destroyed but not uh, defeated so the Santiago till the end uh, he stands as a, a symbol of uh, endurance and the main message uh, is that uh, man has to fight till the end should never never give up uh, should never give up and this marlin is like a testament of santiago's inner success it's a, a testament of his inner success and as far as uh, uh, ernest hemingway is uh, concerned uh, he has used uh, uh, the applied the techniques of modern poetry Uh, in an artif- artful uh, use of repetition and uh, he has uh, quoted is much quoted uh, uh, iceberg uh, theory is that uh, if a writer uh, of prose knows enough about 
what he is writing about he may uh, he may omit things that he knows and the reader uh, what all he knows and the reader knows he can omit that is the best way uh, for a prose writer uh, will have a feeling of those things as though the writer had stated them so even without stating that he he can create the feeling that he has uh, uh, written about it he will create a feeling of those things uh, this is uh, this theory is called iceberg theory of ernest hemingway so this old man and the sea is a very classic novel talking of endurance and uh, uh, the will power of uh, the old man santiago thank you thank you for watching